the famous most loved psalm 23 a psalm of david on yada Vah 7 channel and here i don't know how to i'm so i'm 55 i still can't work out how to um to clip the videos hopefully you can hear this an important message from compassion ceo on the global food crisis compassion is a charity a really good charity i have two sponsored children with them one two and um, it's really, it's not too expensive. They prove everything they do and they get a good Christian education as well as nutritious food on the global food crisis. Santiago, Jimmy, Milado. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for sharing some time with me today and especially for being an advocate for changing children's lives through Christ's love. This time of the year, I love to reflect back on the past year and consider all that's been accomplished together. Thanks to your inspiring generosity and God's faithful hand of blessing. And as this year comes to a close, I'm so grateful that even in the face of an immense global food crisis, we've been able to support 2.3 million children Hallelujah. witnessing some amazing life outcomes and impact along the way. And one of the things that we're most pleased about is the thousands of children who have graduated from their compassion program and are moving into Praise adulthood God. with confidence, well equipped to fulfill the purpose that God has for them. Amen. We also celebrate the many child development centers that opened just this year, despite the lingering effects of the pandemic. And these new local church partners are so passionate about meeting the needs of children who are living in unacceptable circumstances within their communities. Each new center can support about 200 additional children. Hallelujah. And in addition to expanding into these impoverished communities, we're also continuing to welcome new children Aww, into more than 8,200 existing centers all around the world. It's so meaningful to care for these children and to hear their stories. Stories like that of 13-year-old Crisley from Nicaragua. Crisley is thrilled to be the first in her family to go to school, thanks to the partnership between her sponsor, Compassion, and her local church. Or the story of 11-year-old Aaron from Indonesia who received two critical heart surgeries that saved his life. Oh, wow. These interventions are especially critical right now as we okay precious virgin and saints of the most high god i think we can all see the urgency i urge anyone especially those of us living in quite the well off the uk the americas what they call the western world to please sponsor at least one um compassion child if you can i understand that we're all going for our tr trials and troubles um financially from the psalms god will bless those that um consider the poor he will heal them on their bed of languishing and not give them into the hand of their enemies um, i'm on disability benefits i used to have schizophrenia bipolar and chronic depression before yeshaya homoshaya who some called jesus healed me now i live to while well, waiting to go home to heaven on the rapture i heard his voice clearly no demonic voices of schizophrenia thank god no you know how your own ego plays tricks thoughts in your mind it was about 15 weeks ago he said i'm his beloved child and my name is written in the book of life i'd also just like to read from my um facebook account this is compassion uk adonai lords please give us food mcgib in ethiopian for tomorrow i beg you praise 10 year old santiago as he says at his empty plate a lack of employment opportunities in colombia and rising food prices have made even one simple meal a day a luxury for many families. Oh, his poor mum. I feel sad because I cannot give enough food to my children. I feel helpless as Santiago's mum, Marina. Thankfully, a loving Elohim creator hears us. And the morning following Santiago's tefalot, that's prayer in Hebrew children, Pastor Enos from the Compassion Project knocks at his dalet door. He brought with him a basket full of Megib, food in Ethiopian children. 
It is beautiful to be a part of God's answer to children's needs. Pastor Ines, E-N-I-S, smiles. When you give to our food crisis appeal, you help us bring hope and stop hunger. And then there's a link which I'll put in the video. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. That's five and 13 minutes, short and sweet, just like our saviour. Not saying he's short, but he's very, very sweet, isn't he? We are the church, the bride of Christ. I believe he's coming this year. Many other YouTube and other online prophets are saying that. Um, we're spotless and without wrinkle. Let us stay that way. And let us help those other um, sheep of our fathers that are not quite ready. Let us um, reach out a hand, helping hand through prayer, through counselling, through encouragement, through financial, through um, international Christian brotherhood, sisterhood and solidarity. Let's not forget our pets. I was hoping my beloved Kiss and Whitepool would make a guest appearance. But so far he hasn't. He's probably having a little prayer. Children, he calls, um, I don't know if you know this, where you are. He calls the line of Judah, you know, a name for Jesus. Moab and Bethel Yehuda in Ethiopian. He calls him Aslan. If you've read the children's stories from Narnia, especially the lion, the witch and the wardrobe, where Aslan the lion, the evil, the wicked snow queen, or snow witch, whatever she is, she crucifies, she kills Aslan on the stone slab. But of course, children, it has a very happy ending. He comes back to life, Aslan. So little Bagheera, we like to play a game that he's from Narnia. And we and they're free to watch some of them on YouTube. Have a blessed evening, everyone. God loves you so much, precious children. Precious saints, keep the faith. Like the scripture says, the hour is closer now than we first believed. Toda Rabba, that's, that's Hebrew for thank you. God bless you one and all. Amen. Good night.